Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to go ahead and compare with you two different website building platforms, Wix and Weebly. Now both of these platforms are different than other systems out there like WordPress in that they are hosted by the company. So if you make a site, it's on those sites, basically Weebly.com and Wix.com. And with those platforms, they have self-contained all of their tools uh, basically on their own platform for both free and premium versions. Now, there's advantages and disadvantages, uh, obviously, to having your website basically managed by a company and running on their platform, um, of course, right? Uh, so some of the advantages would be, A, you don't need to buy your own web hosting. That's a pretty big deal. B, you'll never need to manage your own web server. Uh, three, uh, at least with the paid versions of these two platforms, you have access to customer support, uh, where basically you have specialized people who just work on this one or these one systems, Weebly or Wix. Um, and uh, you have some other stuff. Like, for instance, both of them have e-commerce built in. You can see Wix stores over here. And if we were to go ahead and hit edit site on the Weebly site, um, you can build stores there just the same. So some other points, uh, a wide selection of themes on both, and they do look pretty nice for the most part, quite professional, comparable to premium WordPress themes, which allow you to easily customize things like font and color schemes. And, and one of the biggest points I, I should have really mentioned earlier is that they're drag and drop website builders. So let's take a look at what that means over here. The Weebly version, you have these widgets or uh, elements, and you kind of just pop them into the code wherever you want them. So you want a button, you can just put that right there above this store section. And we have a button, which we can click on to edit. No HTML code needed. Um, now, it is possible to get something similar to this on a uh, content management system like WordPress um, by adding plugins such as Site Origin Page, page Builder. Um, but these kinds of things are just built into Weebly and Wix out of the box, as well as a lot of other stuff like collecting and sending newsletters um, and uh, the e-commerce stores, of course. Uh, I would say that they both have clean professional administration interfaces, which is nice to have, um, makes it a lot easier to navigate. Um, platform site for free version. Ah, okay, so worth mentioning. And this is actually a downside to both, but on the free versions of Weebly and Wix, they are going to have little ads on your site that basically say, like, hosted with Wix, hosted with Weebly. Not a big thing, and of course, if you upgrade to the premium versions, you don't have to have those there. Uh, but I should mention, if you tried to use a free web host for something like WordPress, you would have the same kind of thing, where basically the companies are hosting the site, they're paying money to basically have it up there, so they have to have ads on it in one way or another. Just the way that Wix and Weebly decide to do that is to basically link back to their own product, as kind of makes sense. Oh, and one thing that's really nice is that uh, your sites have HTTPS, uh, SSL security out of the box. So if someone makes a transaction through your store on Weebly and Wix, that means that it's going to be verified that it's coming basically from the Weebly domain or from the Wix domain um, and that there's no kind of man in the middle uh, trying to take your data. So th that's nice. It's uh, definitely a plus for anyone who has an e-commerce store. Now let's talk specifically about some of the things that Wix does better. Uh, so Wix has ADI, Artificial Design Intelligence, and hopefully here we can actually go ahead and uh, just demo that a little bit. So I'll, I'll bake, create a blog here, and you have Wix ADI. And what's nice about this is that it basically goes ahead and automatically creates certain things based on the keywords you put in. So let's say travel blog here. Uh, excuse the sirens outside. It's the city. Okay. So... Um, and then you can pop in some features, like if you want to sell online. And what the ADI does is it kind of just, based on your keyword, suggests uh, different layouts of the page, what sections should be defined, uh, and other stuff. And then it allows you to either manually change those or to uh, basically have ADI automatically uh, go to the next option in the list. So if, if there's one color scheme that becomes the initial one uh, and you just have 
uh, ADI take the next one in the list. It'll just keep going until you find one that likes. Um, and this tool is just pretty nice in general. So why I specifically mentioned this as an advantage over Weebly is that Weebly currently only has uh, the website editor mode. So you can build a site in Weebly and it's not too difficult, but you basically have to pick a theme and then uh, customize everything else yourself. Uh, which you can also choose to do in Wix. You can do the ADI for building your site initially, or you can do, I think they call it Wix Editor. Um, hopefully this pops up in a second here. Uh, okay, built-in mailing correspondence with the Wix app. So um, in Wix, you can basically have a list of different contacts, and hopefully we can see that. Uh, I think they call it, uh, oh, yeah, contacts. So you pop all of these contacts into Wix and you can import, uh, I believe, via CSV files. And then you can email those contacts through the system here. Um, to, uh, so like Wix Engage and Domains and Mailboxes. Um, and, and basically conduct business with your contacts out of the box. So this isn't something that's really unusual for any site to have. Um, but it, it's built into Wix without even adding in any extra third-party plugins, which is cool. Um, so if you like managing your business contacts and you want to do it here instead of on something like contacts.gmail or google.com or whatever they call it, other than that, you can do that there. And I did not see that in Weebly, so that's why it goes on that list specifically. Um, and when it comes to apps in Weebly, like having different pieces of functionality on your Weebly site, uh, sorry, your Wix site, it's pretty simple to see what's going on here. So all the different sections, it's grid display. You want to add a new one, you can click add app. I would say uh, the Weebly sites, they do have more options here. It's a little disappointing, uh, the different selection of third-party apps you have on Wix. Um, but it's pretty easy to add the ones that do exist. And in, in general, I don't think you're going to need a lot on any of these platforms because they try to build as much stuff out of the box as possible, which is one of the reasons you would use Wix or Weebly over WordPress. Um, oh, and yeah, here's a big one. So there's no import or export functionality for blogs on Wix so uh, that I could see, and uh, I did check pretty thoroughly for it. So if you want to import or create blog content, um, you might have to kind of manually type everything in. Uh, there may be a third-party tool out there on the internet that you can find for Wix, uh, definitely for importing to WordPress. I saw one for that. But uh, it's third-party, so, you know, it's uh, not guaranteed to work, and they won't be giving you any support on Wix.com for that. Uh, this usually goes a little quicker. I think it's because I'm uh, tabbing all of the place. Okay, create my homepage. There we go. So, yeah, the first version of the home page automatically created, and you see it popped in all the sections. Uh, so this was kind of blog, subscribe button, and I think it's got a store there because that's what we set it to do. And then you can just go down this list where if you don't like a different aspect, like change the website design, you can just click do it for me, and then the Wix is going to go ahead, navigate down there, and pretty much I think it's to select the next one in line. I guess it's not always the next one, but one of the more popular suggestions. And then that's basically it. Bam. You have a, a change there, and you can try another, keep it, move on to the next section. Um, in my previous video, or one of the last two, I talked a lot more about this. But I really just know with Wix ADI that it uh, does speed up the process of getting your site off the ground, as opposed to having to drag and drop build everything initially by yourself. Um, and another nice thing about Wix is that there does not seem to be any limitations on email marketing, uh, like messages per month that you can do up here with this section, uh, like there is in Weebly. So Weebly has uh, Weebly Promote, and uh, the Promote, I think, only allows you to send out two newsletters a month by default. Uh, we can check real quick right here. Of course, both, both platforms, you can collect subscribers. That's all well and good. Uh, yeah, but only uh, two emails per month on Weebly which might be kind of unfortunate for some people. Uh, though, once again, you upgrade and those limitations go away. So Weebly has a slightly more competitive pricing plan. Um, I, I think Weebly was something like 8 or $10 for the normal pro version. And uh, then Wix is like $12.5 for the recommended version where you get unlimited bandwidth and that kind of stuff. 
So in general, looking at the pricing plans, uh, Weebly seems to be slightly cheaper, but that shouldn't be a huge deal, especially if you're going to do like a major e-commerce website. Uh, Weebly does accept four payment methods as opposed to Wix's three. Um, so they both have PayPal, and that's the big one. And I think they both also have Stripe, but then Weebly has one up on uh, one of the extra platforms that are out there. Minor advantage, but still there. Uh, Weebly is the more popular platform in terms of volume. They get more views to their site. Not necessarily your site, but the, the Weebly domain in general. Um, and there's more Weebly sites. Um, that could, of course, be partially due to uh, Wix having slightly higher costs on their services. But uh, who knows? I don't have the internal data for them. Uh, store SCV file import and export. So this is probably a big thing for people who are going to do e-commerce with Weebly. Um, but let's say you're importing from another platform or you just got a database or something like that. Uh, and hopefully I can get there in a couple clicks. But being able to import and export products to your store is a pretty big deal, especially if you have a lot of uh, products that are going to go into your store. So import products, CSV file, Etsy, Shopify, that's nice. Those are two other uh, pretty big e-commerce platforms. Well, Shopify being more in the uh, having your own web store where I, I, I think Etsy, and I haven't really used it too much personally, but it's more like putting products up for sale on kind of like eBay, but not auction based. Um, or Amazon might be a better comparison. But yeah, you can import and export CSV for your products. And that's a that's a big deal, especially if your store is going to get bigger. Um, so let's see. Uh, there's more third-party apps in the store. Already kind of covered that. Uh, not a huge amount, but um, there might be some extra stuff that interests you. And I would say uh, the way that free sites are uh, labeled with their... Um, Christ, what do you call it? Uh, the domain name is better in Weebly. Because if we look at Wix, let's see if I can preview that site. Uh, Chris Tutorials YouTube, uh, dot Wix site dot com, and then slash the name of the site. That's a pretty ugly way. So it's like your overall domain and then all of the sites you have up there. Uh, this is, of course, for the free domain. If you add in a premium domain, which you have to pay money for, uh, then you can get rid of that. Uh, but with Weebly, and this is a developer site, so that's why it's a weird URL, but it's just the name of the site, .weebly.com. I think it's better to be like that than to have the slash website. Um, personal preference there, but I think most people would agree with me. And uh, you can back up the site on Weebly and have it sent to your email. Now, um, I'm guessing that you can only really like load that back up into Weebly and have it be uh, basically a past version of this site. But you can't take the Weebly platform outside of Weebly, once again, to the best of my knowledge. Um, but Wix does not seem to have any kind of export, like backup tools, at least um, initially with the free stuff. Let me uh, kind of take another look there. They might have something. Um, but it's it's not where you can basically zip it and send it to your email, as at least. So... Uh, the files for Wix are basically going to be all on their servers. Um, yeah, it's a good question, though. Uh, how much backup do they have on uh, Wix? They've got to have something somewhere, right? But they don't have emailing it to your email. So uh, no control over your own files there, really. Um, downsides to both, and this would be kind of compared to self-hosted platforms. Um, well, of course, you can't elect to self-host Wix or Weebly. So basically... As long as you're using Wix or Weebly, you're stuck with their servers. That has good and bad. I would say mostly a good thing. Like people who want to have a site but don't want to have all the overhead of maintaining it are probably going to be fine with that. So this is only a, a negative if you're like a developer and you want to really mess around with your own site. And uh, I would say in general, outside of being able to kind of have a email zip archive sent to your email for um, the Weebly website data, this is kind of a lack of export and import tools in general. Yes, you can import and export uh, CSVs on Weebly. I don't think you can do it with your blog, though. Let's actually double check that as well. I want to make sure I'm getting all of this right for you guys. So, uh, edit site. I guess we can go back there. Um, yeah, feel free to double check fact check 
me on that. If anyone wants to leave a comment down below, or I'll actually go. Oh, well, let's see here. Don't have a blog. Okay, let's just let's just go through the steps. Um, so a blog page. Let's be done there, and you can kind of get a sense here of how everything looks. Um. Okay. So we want to go to the blog blog settings. And we'll see, is there actually import export? Um okay, post had a code. Does not appear to be. Alright. So yeah, I mean, I mean that's kind of a weird thing to have, right? Because you would really want to be able to take your content with you, and there there are gonna be tools out there that are third party that help you do this. But um as far as I can tell, not so much with uh, exporting your blog content directly. Um, yep, so that's definitely a downside. Uh, in conclusion, though, uh, I would say both are solid. I, I like different aspects of both, but um, with Wix's ADI, I'm assuming that the main reason you are even considering platforms like Wix or Weebly is just that you want to get a site off the ground as quick as possible. You kind of want to have your hand held a little bit. You don't want to be writing PHP code um, and you want to get something going ASAP and you want it to look nice. So kind of using Wix at ADI, you don't really need any design skills because it's going to kind of suggest stuff for you. Uh, you don't need to kind of place everything on the page, right? Because it's going to kind of do that for you. And at the end, all you'll really need to worry about is editing the content. Like obviously you wouldn't want it to say, this is your blog post here. So you're going to need to edit that, create your own real content. Um, but you won't have to decide on the placement of everything like you would in the Wix base editor or the Weebly editor. And Weebly currently doesn't have anything like this. So I think that's kind of what sets Wix apart from Weebly for me. But I would say the best thing to do is definitely to just go and check both of them out. Because uh, you can get free sites for both of them. Um, create as many demo sites as you want. Uh, try them out and figure out which platform you like better. And then maybe down the road, you can go ahead and uh, pay for the premium version. Oh, and I should mention, if I don't know already, that when you do pay for the premium version of Wix or Weebly, you don't have to pay for your own web hosting. So kind of the money that would go into the web hosting anyway is already kind of being included on your Wix uh, payment or your Weebly payment. Food for thought. Okay, so I've kind of rambled on a little bit. I hope this wasn't too bad for you guys and you learned something useful. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in my future video content.